Hey there wrestling fans, Wayward Legacy back at you with another video. So I came across a, uh, another article which I, uh, you know, I was browsing, browsing the web and I uh, came across another article here. This is on uh, WrestlingNews.com. Uh, it, it's about CM Punk and, uh, you know, this kind of goes back to what I was saying in my, uh, in my video of my opinion about his debut, which is next uh, Saturday. And, uh, you know, how he was going to fight more or how he planned to fight more. So, um, so here we go. This is the article on WrestlingNews.com, or .co, I should say. Um, so, Access TV Inside MMA did a feature on CM Punk on Friday night and his transition from uh, WWE to MMA. Uh, Punk was asked about his athletic background before professional wrestling. Uh, Punk noted that he didn't have much money as a kid, and while he did do some Brazilian jiu-jitsu, jiu he didn't have much of an athletic background. Uh, they showed footage from his training at uh, Rufus Sport in, Mil in Milwaukee and interviews with Anthony Pettis and Punk's UFC 203 opponent, Mickey Gall. Uh, Punk said that this is not a one-and-done fight for him, and he signed a multi-fight contract. Now, there is a video below, so uh, if you want to check that out, I will post that in, in the description, and uh, you can check the video out. And, uh, yeah, give me your thoughts in the comments, uh, but I'm not ending the video right here. I'm going to keep talking about it. Um, so, yeah, you know, it just it, the fact that Punk wants to fight more, it just goes to show that, uh, you know, he's a, very, he's a very driven guy. Like, you look at, uh, you go back to when he was, uh, you know, he wanted, to be a, he wanted to be a wrestler, obviously, when he was a kid. And, uh, you know, to start that dream and uh, that goal... He started doing uh, backyard wrestling, and then eventually he started uh, going for some independent companies, and then you know after that he went to Ring of Honor, and then TNA, and then eventually he got recognized by WWE, and then uh, and you know became one of the biggest stars ever. I mean, he's definitely he's definitely one of the most popular in WWE history for sure, and um, you know he's the longest WWE champion of the modern era. You know so. You know, it just, uh, and you know, like when, even when Punk was in WWE, that's what he wanted to accomplish. He wanted to be WWE champion. Uh, he wanted change, you know, like, and we sort of got a little bit of a change. Like, uh, you know, like not maybe as much as maybe Punk wanted, but we did get a little bit of change. And, you know, I have to, um, you know, my opinion is, is, you know, like, you see all the wrestling we got now, and, uh, you know, uh, back when Punk was asking for change, you know, uh, WWE was a lot more focused on, you know, storylines and characters. And, you know, just other bullshit instead of the wrestling, like we barely got minutes of wrestling. You know, now it's kind of went the other way around, where, you know, we're, we're getting a lot more wrestling, but less storylines and, you know, segments and stuff. You know, and in my opinion, you know, if WWE is going to have a successful show, they're going to want to balance it out, which is what they should start doing, you know, um, but, you know, I'll get, in, I'll get into that in another video, or if I ever discuss, you know, you know, my opinion on what WWE is doing, I'll, I'll get into that in another video, but this video is about CM Punk, and, uh, you know, his debut, but, you know, it just, just examples like that, you know, it goes to show, like, the kind of guy that Punk is, you know, like, when he sets a goal, or he's got a dream or something, that he's got something that he wants to do, He's very driven, and he'll do whatever it takes to uh, to accomplish that goal. And you know, he's a very dedicated guy too. You know, he he was in wrestling since uh, what ninety ninety nine, so about I don't know. And he retired what twenty fourteen, so that's about I don't know fifteen years or so, most likely. I would think I could be wrong, but you know, that's about fifteen years I would imagine. So. You know, the guy definitely, uh, you know, he's dedicated and, you know, if he's got something he wants to do, he will do it and he will stay dedicated to it. And that's what he's doing with UFC, you know. I, I think, you know, like I said in my pre in my video that I did last night about the debut, you know, uh, a lot of people think that Punk's going to, if he loses it, he's going to just give up on UFC. You know, I, nev I never thought that even before I read this article, you know. I've always, you know, I've... You know, I've seen interviews with the guy, and, you know, just from seeing him in 
in wrestling, whether it was whether he was portraying a character or not, you know, it just it, it shows that you know the guy is dedicated, and you know he'll do whatever it takes to accomplish his dream. You know, just in watching the um, best in the world uh, documentary that WWE put out back in like 2012 or 2011, you know, you just you see the kind of guy Punk is, and that he's very dedicated. He's driven. He'll he does, you know, I can't stress enough, he does what he, uh, what he wants to do, and he, he'll do whatever it takes to accomplish it. Uh, you know, uh, so, yeah, whether he wins or loses, he's gonna do more fights, so, that's cool, you know, um, I, like most guys, would like to see him back in WWE, I just, you know, I don't see that happening just yet, maybe a few years down the road, um, but yeah, you know, he's still... You know, he's got a multi-fight um, contract. I don't know how many fights that would be, but... Um, yeah, I would like to see him back in WWE. You know, uh, that would be pretty cool. The guy definitely, uh, someday, deserves a Hall of Fame. That's for sure. Uh, when will it happen? Who knows? But You know, I didn't want to make this video too long, so, you know, I just... I wanted to... Um, talk about that article and just, you know, kind of reflect on my video last night and some of the stuff I was saying, which, you know, proves to be true and just it goes to show that Punk is in it. And, you know, he's going to continue to do it for as long as he can, which is what I said last night. And, you know, that was my opinion. I figured, like, you know, Punk's going to do it for as long as he can. He may not be able to do it for a long time, for years and years, because, you know, his body's pretty worn down from being a wrestler for like 15, 16 years, however long it was that he was in wrestling for. So, you know, that's pretty much all that I wanted to talk about right now. I will, uh, like I said, I'll put a link in the description for this article, and you can you can check it out, and you can check out the video which is attached to it. It's on uh, wrestlingnews.co, and uh, yeah, you know, give me your thoughts on it. Uh, what do you think about CM Punk's debut? Do you think he's going to win or lose? How many fights do you think he's going to do? Do you think he'll return to WWE, you think he'll be in the Hall of Fame someday, you know, give me your thoughts in the comments, and, uh, you know, that's pretty much all I gotta say about right now, uh, there'll probably be some more videos tonight, I would imagine, uh, I think I'm gonna do my stream probably around 6.30, so look out for that, you know, uh, and like I, like I've stated before in my previous videos, I still have yet to get a good mic, you know, I just, I have the, um, the crappy PS4 mic that you get with uh, when you get the system, so you know, I just I haven't had money to go out and get a new one, so eventually I will get a new one, so it's just gonna take some time. And uh, yeah, you know, that's pretty much all I gotta say about right now for that. So, you know, look out for my other videos and look out for the stream at 6 30. Um, WWE 2K uh, 16 is what I will be playing again. Uh, and if you want more game, if you want other games uh, that you want me to do, suggest and suggest them, and I'll uh, I'll do them up. But anyway, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, comment, as I said, and uh, you know what? Um, I'll see you in the next one. Wayward out.